Hello, model car builders. This is the novice builder. I have not posted a video in some time. Been busy, just, you know, how life is. But I wanted to share a couple of builds, recent builds, working on some others. Uh, this one is the AMT uh, 67 Chevelle, I'm sorry, Chevrolet Impala SS. I procrastinated on buying this kit. Uh, mainly because this the box art I wasn't sold on the kit because of the box art I don't know why but but finally I did I saw someone else build it uh, I think it's one of the builders uh, your videos junior I think was his name did a phenomenal job on one of these and and uh, there's others of you that have done great jobs so it kind of put me up pumped me up to go ahead and uh, do the build. So uh, just sharing my 67 Chevrolet Impala SS. Really liked it, went with some different wheels, mag wheels for it rather than the rally. I just, I don't know why. I just haven't wanted to go with the rally wheels on my builds. So I went with these, I like the way it looks. And uh, I really liked it, pretty good actually for an AMT kit. The only thing that reminded me that it was AMT is right at the end with the fitting of, if you notice, the wheels are kind of set back. You can see it more on the front wheel here on the passenger side than on the back. And not as much on this side, but I just fought with it and I couldn't get it to sit right and I just did what I could but right at the end it reminded me that it's an AMT kit and there's always seems to be some fitting issues with AMT anyway it's my impression but I like the kit in general I went with uh, this testers paint this is a uh, custom red metal flake is what this color is and I really liked it really liked it actually looks darker on the car than it does on the can. But I think I did a regular primer and I think I did a silver underneath to bring out that metal flake and then the red over the top. Went with uh, white interior, black carpet dash. Here is the, uh, you know, see the dash a little bit and the interior on that. So uh, I was, Happy with my results. Just went with the stock. Uh, this one is the, I think it's the 427, but I'm not sure. It's either the 427 or the 396. I don't remember off the top of my head. I've got the box here, uh, the box, the larger box in front of me. Uh, it's a 427, forgive me. 427, I went with just the uh, the red, more a little more orange than red, but, uh, and the valve covers also. And so that's the interior of the engine with the black air breather. Just pretty much went the stock. Didn't chrome it up. Probably could have, but I didn't. Because I think the uh, 396 valve covers will fit on this kit on this mortar and then it's the one with the vented hood this SS and the grill also and the back tail lights so um, but generally I was really enjoyed this kit as I was building it as I mentioned I said wow this almost reminds me of a Ravel kit uh, but as I got to the very end, it, oh, just reminded me, you're AMT. Still got a lot, a little, not a lot, but a little touch up to do. For example, on the logo in the back and some other things on the side decals. I don't know why I get to the end of a kid and I procrastinate about those last little details. But I'm not really pressed for any time for shows or anything. I just do it for a hobby. So anyway... Wanted to share it. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Any suggestions about how to improve my skills? You've helped me very much, all of you, with your builds. So, um, 
Thank you and be safe.